passengers at Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport scramble to resume their travels after an electrical fire shut down the world's busiest airport for more than 10 hours, December 18, Atlanta, AP, Delta Airlines and other carriers that operate out of Atlanta's busy airport say they expect to be running normally by Tuesday after a fire and blackout there forced the cancellation of over 1,500 flights days before the start of the Christmas rush. A spokesman for Delta, by far the biggest airline at the world's busiest airport, said most of its delayed passengers had been booked on flights scheduled to leave Monday. Spokesman Michael Thomas said the airline should be largely if not completely back to normal by Tuesday, well before the huge travel weekend ahead of Christmas Day. But no matter how fast Delta and other airlines move, it will take a few days to get the hundreds of thousands of grounded passengers to their final destinations, said Robert Mann, president of an airline consulting firm in Port Washington, New York. In rare cases, some passengers won't arrive until Thursday, he said. There are just so few seats available during a peak holiday week, that's just going to take a lot of flights with four or five seats apiece, Mann said. The nation's air travel system was snarled after the underground blaze knocked out electricity Sunday and crippled Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport for about 11 hours. Caption Close Southwest, the airport's second-largest airline, said Monday it was back on a normal schedule, but a spokesman could not say how long it would take to clear the backlog of stranded travelers. American Airlines, which is much smaller, said that it, too, booked many of its passengers on new flights but that some will have to wait until later in the week to fly. The fire broke out Sunday afternoon next to equipment for a backup system, causing that to fail, too. Power wasn't fully restored until about midnight. The control tower did not lose power because it has a separate electrical feed, and planes that were in the air and close to Atlanta when the blackout hit were allowed to land. Other incoming flights were diverted and outgoing flights were halted. Anthony Fox, who was Transportation Secretary under President Barack Obama, was among many travelers stuck for hours in a plane on the tarmac. He blasted airport officials, saying the problem was compounded by confusion and poor communication. Total and abject failure here at Atlanta Airport today, he tweeted, adding that there was no excuse for lack of workable redundant power source. None. Georgia Power CEO Paul Bowers issued an apology and blamed the fire on a failure in a switch gear. He said the utility is considering a change in the setup of the main and backup systems to prevent a similar blackout. Around noon Monday, stranded travelers sat on the floor, charging cell phones at the electrical outlets. An Atlanta City employee in a Santa hat gave out candy. David and Lynn Carden sitting in soft chairs in the airport's atrium, left London early Sunday for Key West, Florida, but were diverted to Cincinnati because of the blackout. Delta got them a hotel room and put them on a Monday flight to Atlanta.